Looks maxing is important, but there's a different kind of maxing that most people don't talk about. One that will elevate your personal and professional life. Voice maxing. If you're a guy and have a high-pitched voice or a voice that you think isn't appealing, then you've probably hoped a million times that you could sound different. Maybe you already have a deep voice, but want to make it deeper, seductive, and more intimidating. Voice maxing will help you. With voice maxing, you can actually strengthen your voice to make it more full, deep, and seductive, which will in turn make you more confident when speaking in public. So in this video, I'll share some tips and tricks to help you achieve a fuller, more commanding voice, including a few exercises that will strengthen your vocal muscles. One, strengthen your neck muscles. If you've been researching how to deepen your voice, then you've probably come across a lot of talk about this online, and it actually does work. If you put your hand on your throat, you'll feel two long muscles that run down from behind your ear to your collarbone. These are your sternocleidomastoids, the muscles that allow you to move your neck from left to right as well as up and down. But they also influence your voice. When these muscles are tense, they put pressure on your vocal cords, making your voice sound higher. So just relax them, and easily enough, your voice gets lower. One way I recommend you do this is by strengthening your neck muscles. Stronger muscles are better at meeting the demands you place on them daily, which means they're less likely to tighten up and fail you when you need them most. An exercise that really helps with strengthening your neck muscles are neck crunches. Basically, lay on a flat surface and slowly nod your head from horizontal to vertical, tucking in your chin like doing sit-ups with your neck. Do three sets of 20 reps of crunches. Record your voice before and after every session to compare them in the future. As your neck muscles grow stronger, you'll start to see a difference, although your voice might get higher before it starts to get lower. You can also try stretching your neck to relieve any tension that might build up with the exercises. In addition, you can experiment with a neck harness to build your muscles at the back of your neck as well as the front of your neck, which will deepen your voice. Two, breathe from the diaphragm. I want you to do something. I want you to breathe and notice the movement of your shoulders. Pause the video and do it. Now, if your shoulders go up and down as you breathe in and out, you're doing it wrong. It's called shallow breathing. Most people, not just dudes, are guilty of it. While it does work for getting air into your lungs, this way of breathing shifts pressure to the upper half of your torso, putting tension on your neck and vocal cords. Instead, breathe with the muscle that you're actually supposed to breathe with, the diaphragm. As you inhale, try to shift the effort downward so your stomach flexes out while your shoulders remain completely still. Feel as though you're summoning the air from your abs rather than your chest. This one change will have the greatest impact on the depth of your voice, but like any bad habit, it requires a conscious effort to overcome it. You may want to try something to remind yourself when you're keeping back into your old ways. It might be hard at first to master, but when you do, it will also give you a richer, more resonant voice, which is probably more important than having a deep voice. It also has many other benefits, like reducing stress and improving athletic performance. Three, drink more water. If you've spent any amount of time on this channel, then you know we emphasize the need to drink more water. Drinking water has many benefits, including deepening your voice. You know how the depth of your voice is partly caused by the size of your vocal cords? Well, dehydration literally shrinks your vocal cords. Not drinking enough water will lead to loss of mass, leaving you with thinner, squeakier vocal cords. And if you think you're drinking enough water, you're probably not. Most people are dehydrated. In fact, a recent study found that 75% of people drink way below the recommended daily intake, which is probably why many men speak with higher pitched voices. The solution? Make things easier for yourself. If you work at a desk, get a big water bottle, one that can hold three to four liters, and fill it every morning. Not only will this encourage you to drink more because it's there, it'll bring the water to room temperature, which will prevent your throat from contracting due to the cold. Pro tip, drink at least a liter of water and hour before going on a date or to an important meeting for a deeper voice. Four, down talking technique. The down talking technique is pretty simple. It's basically just slowing down and deepening your voice toward the end of your sentence. This is a trick that can make you sound confident and commanding. It'll take a few tries to get it right, but once you do, it can trick people into thinking you have a deeper voice. Again, it's very simple. When you're nearing the end of a sentence, just make sure to end it at a lower range. This might seem hard to do, but when you speak slowly, it's a lot easier than you imagine. Five, the straw technique. Blowing bubbles through a straw into a cup of water while making sounds can help increase airflow and relax the muscles in your throat. This could help you produce a more resonant voice. The straw technique stretches and relaxes the vocal cords, which can help make your voice stronger. 
6. Be monotone. One name that comes up a lot when discussing men with deep voices is Clint Eastwood. You want to know the interesting thing? When it comes to pitch, Eastwood doesn't have a deep voice. It's about average. But the one thing he does have is a lot of monotony. This is a very manly trait. In fact, a recent study found that men with monotone voices tend to have more sex appeal than those who don't. When you speak in a monotone voice, you sound more masculine and trick people into thinking your voice is deep. 7. Nasal breathing Another trick to deepen your voice is to consciously breathe through your nose. Most men make the mistake of breathing through their mouths when they speak, which makes their voices sound high-pitched. So be conscious of breathing through your nose when you speak for a healthier and more powerful voice. 8. Aspirate Have you ever heard Tom Hiddleston speak? Old Trafford, where Manchester United play. You probably think he has a deep voice, right? Well, not so much a deep voice, but he does use a neat trick to make it sound deeper. You can try this one for yourself and immediately see results. Here's how. Open your voice app on your phone and speak into the microphone. Now try talking in a breathier, more aspirated tone, as if you're speaking through a sigh, just like Tom Hiddleston, and you'll see a major difference in the depth of your voice. You'll notice your voice deepen as soon as you take on this breathier kind of tone. And not only does this make your voice deeper, but it makes it more attractive. Now that we've covered the tips and tricks to voice max, here are additional bonus points that, coupled with a strong voice, can give you a more commanding one. Get rid of filler words such as like, ah, uh, um, so, you know, and the rest. Increase your vocabulary. The more words you know and use, the more articulate you sound. Use pauses effectively when speaking. If you pause at the perfect time, your words sound more confident. It allows them time to respond more accurately. Read aloud to practice. It's actually not that hard to voice max, but it does require a ton of practice. So put in the time and your voice will get deeper. Let me know in the comments down below how the tips worked for you. I can't wait to see you in my next video.